This is Peter. I am the CEO and co-founder of OpenMeter. We help developers implement metering and usage-based billing. Today, I would like to show you a little demo how OpenMeter works. OpenMeter is available on GitHub as an open source distribution, and we also have a managed cloud. In this video, I'm going to use the cloud version. So you can click get started and for free, you can have an account. I already have an account. I'm logging into that one. And let's start with some metering. Um, so if you want to measure a consumption of your customer, like number of tokens, number of API requests, what you want to build after that, um, then OpenMeter can help with that. OpenMeter has an event-based billing system, which means we turn incoming events into aggregated usage. Uh, let's create a meter first to measure these events and aggregate them. I'm going to use one of our templates. This is an AI-focused template. Uh, what you see here on the right side is the cloud events format that OpenMeter is compatible with. On the left side, you can see the stream processing pipeline configuration. So here, basically, we are going to filter for every event that has a type prompt. We use the sum aggregation and we will read uh, the property tokens and then we will aggregate over them. We also would like to group by the metered usage by model like, you know, GPT-3, GPT-4 or the type of the prompt like input or output. Let's create this meter. So now we set up this robust streaming pipeline in the background. Let's start to send some events. If you come to the API kind of menu point, then you can create an API token here. I already have one, uh, so I'm going to skip this step and you can see um, some snippets with different SDKs or curl. I'm going to switch to VS Code. I already have my API key put in here and I'm going to use the VS Code to generate some events. Every event is deduplicated by ID and source. So it's very important to use a unique ID for every single event. So for customer one, I'm going to send one token usage and the model are going to be GPT-4. So as soon as I send this, if we switch back to OpenMeter, that what you will see in the events menu point, that the event is showing up and it also shows up on the meter. So the usage is getting aggregated. Okay, let's send another event. So let's increase the ID and this time let's send in usage of five for the same customer. So again, if you come to the events, you see it's showing up. And if we go to the meter, um, then the value is shown up. We can also group by based on subject and models, and you can query your aggregated usage here. OpenMeter also provides you an embeddable dashboard that you can build with React and include in your application. And you can also synchronize usage into Stripe or webhooks for billing. Now I would like to show you something different. Imagine you're an AI company and you want to limit how many tokens your customer can consume every month. This is great to control cost or to implement uh, more complex billing scenarios. So let's switch to our entitlement features. So with entitlement, you can define the features where the customer has access part of a billing plan. If, if you remember some billing pages, they look like, you know, you have this kind of table and you see check marks that in maybe the basic plan, you have like limited set of features and on the more higher plan, you have more advanced features and higher limits. So this is exactly what you can implement with OpenMeter. Let's start with a simple kind of, does the customer have access to this feature or not? In this case, it's a SAML SSO. So let's create a feature. Let's call it maybe Google SSO. Maybe in this scenario, you only wanna give Google SSO to certain customers. So we create the feature and we pick our customer and then we pick Boolean. So basically this is like a true false. And after that, you can see that this customer has accessed this feature. So that's how easy it is to provision access to specific customers or specific features. Let's do something a little bit uh, more advanced and let's implement this limit here, what I showed you, that a customer not just have access to a feature, but has access to a certain amount, like 10,000 tokens per month or 1 million tokens per month. Let's implement this one. First, we are going to create a new feature. This time, this feature, let's call it AI tokens, simply. We are going to pick a meter for it. So this feature is going to be driven by this meter. 
we could filter for specific uh, group bytes. Maybe you want to have a feature separate for GPT-3, GPT-4, or other dimensions. Now we are going to use all the tokens as one. So now we created another feature. And let's go to this customer. And let's allow them to use this service for like 1 million token. So we are going to pick AI tokens. We'll say it's a monthly limit. And we will grant 1 million. You can also define if it's a soft limit or hard limit. So based on this, if the customer runs out of the balance, Open Meter will calculate if the customer should access or not. So right now you see the customer balance is 1 million and they have access to this feature because they haven't used any yet. So let's generate some usage for this customer and let's see what happens. So I'm switching back here. I'm again increasing the limit and let's send 100,000 for this customer. So we send 100,000 and let's see how the balance changes. See, the customer used 100,000, so they used 10% of their allowance and they now have only 900,000 left. Let's see what happens if the customer uses all the balance. So I'm going to send 900,000. I'm increasing the event ID again. And now if you come back, then you can see the customer lost access to this feature. So Open Meter provides an endpoint where you can check the access and you can real-time check in your application if the customer has access to the feature. So in the next months, when this period is over, Open Meter will grant again this 1 million token to the customer. But what happens if the customer want to buy a one-time or recurring top-up or there is a support case what you want to handle and you want to grant more access to this customer? No problem. In Open Meter, you can issue one-time or recurring grant. So let's do that. Let's give this customer a low end for another 10,000 token, um, which they can use in the upcoming one year. And it's effective immediately. You can even set up priorities. So if you want to manage which grant should be burned down first, uh, that's something that Open Meter can handle for you. You could set this to be recurring, so you could reissue every day, every month, every year, how, how you prefer. And you can even define if you want to roll over the remaining amount between periods. This time, it's going to be a one-time token only for this month. So now we granted the 10,000, and you can see the customer has access to the feature again. So that's how easy with Open Meter is to manage these scenarios when you need to grant additional token or define monthly limits. And top of that, you can also see the history. So you can really track what's happened, like how tokens are burned down and, uh, and, and kind of like follow what's happening. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, thank you for watching the demo and check out uh, openmeter.io.